Spotting the difference between real and fake combat footage may seem like an easy thing to do, but recently it's become clear that for a lot of people this is not the case. Me and quite a few other people upload military simulation videos recorded in games like Arma 3 or DCS. Arma 3 is a military simulation game and at this point it's almost 10 years old. So is a 10 year old video game really fooling people? Um, yeah. In case you haven't noticed yet, this is a Arma 3 clip in the news. And this is not some rare occurrence, no, this is, this is happening a lot. These simulation videos are being posted all over Twitter and Facebook, uh, TikTok, you name it. And the problem is, is that they're not being posted with any disclaimer that it is a simulation. They're being posted as real videos. But even on my channel, where I make it very clear that these videos are simulations, still a big portion of the comments are of people that believe it's real. So how are these Arma videos fooling so many people? Let me explain. Arma 3 by itself is already a pretty good looking game with the right video settings. But under normal conditions you should still easily be able to tell it's a game. However, if you create some low light conditions, this changes for a lot of people. Most of the terrain is now no longer clearly visible. Most textures look dark and therefore you cannot really see how fake they look. And if you start firing guns or missiles in these conditions, you will notice that they will start to look quite real. Combine this with a bunch of mods to make your explosions and sound more realistic and you have created a pretty realistic simulation. That being said, you will in almost all cases still be able to spot the difference. But for people who don't play games, this can be quite hard. So now I'm gonna try to explain a few key things to pay attention to to spot a fake video. And just a quick disclaimer, this isn't some sort of ultimate guide on how to debunk every false video you see. These are just some main things to look out for. Use these steps along with your own critical thinking to assess sketchy footage. It's a lot easier to pass off air combat simulations as real footage, opposed to ground combat footage. You will notice that most of the simulation videos are filming things from a distance, and usually they're aircraft. Most real footage will not have very smooth camera movements like most of the simulation videos have. In general, if it looks too smooth, it's probably a fake. Like I explained earlier in the video, having low light conditions really makes armor shine in terms of realism. That being said, any combat footage you see in these lighting conditions should be looked at with a grain of salt. In the simulation videos, the sound is usually too perfect. What I mean with that is explosions, for example, will sound almost identical in simulation videos. Here's an example from one of my own videos. Not only do the explosions sound identical, they also sound high quality. Most real footage will not be filmed with crazy good microphones. At the end of the day, the best way to see if a video is real or not is to use your common sense. Look a bit closer at a video and think to yourself, does this look real? And try to do more than just look. Try to think about what's happening in the video and if it makes any sense. For example, would fighter jets really be flying this close to anti-air systems? Probably not. Are there floating bushes and trees in real life? Um, I don't think so. Do explosions really look like this? No, they don't. But unfortunately, uh, not all videos are this easy to point out to be fake. Some of them have been uh, purposefully lowered to a very low resolution, so you can't see a lot of the details that I'm talking about in this video. But like I said, this isn't some ultimate guide to debunk every false video you see. It's simply pointing out a few things that you can look out for. That being said, thanks for watching everybody, um, and I hope I helped some people with this video.